Hey, welcome, good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be my last video of the day besides my Reading Royals recap that I do from the stadium covering the game there, the ECHL affiliate of the Flyers for my fellow basketball fans that are also hockey fans. But this is going to be for the basketball fans of the channel, the Sixers weekend recap as we lose one. The first game, the Sixers, even without Joe Embiid on the losing streak, did get smacked and did not have a close game but albeit against a very good Utah Jazz team that obviously took advantage and were the first team to do so to move to 10-5 and five and took advantage of our Sixers being shorthanded. They, of course, have the great Michael Conley. They got Donovan Mitchell. They got Bogdan Bogdanovich, who knows how to play the game. Uh, obviously, Ingles, who can shoot the ball with the best of them. And then Eric Paschal, former Nova product, who's a nice player, plus Whiteside and Gobert down low. So they are a healthy team for the most part, and were able to take advantage of the very unhealthy Sixers of the first team that were able to do that, though. And then the Sixers were able to rebound and get a fantastic win over the Denver Nuggets to move them to 9-6, and six, and the Sixers to 9-7, and seven, and end this streak to snap the five-game skid. Tyrese Maxey was absolutely balling out, just like he's been doing even in losing efforts, playing, efforts playing like an absolutely bat out of helm. He had 22 points, 5 rebounds, and 4 assists. And then Tobias Harris at 17, 7, and 2. And then someone we have to highlight from the bench is Charles Bassey, who absolutely balled out in his 19 minutes. 12 points, 7 rebounds, 1 steal, and 3 block shots for Bassey, the youngster stepping up. Shake Milton playing solid as well, 12 points, 5, and 4. Furk not having the best game, but other people picked him up. Niang had five, uh, or 11 points, excuse me, five rebounds and three assists. So the team did what they had to do. Everybody picked each other up. Iris Maxey was the top scorer. Curry also had 20. And then there was good spread out scoring. So after losing a game, the first blowout, even with everybody being injured to the Utah Jazz, who are one of the better teams in the Western Conference, the Sixers are able to rebound and play a very good Western Conference team in the Denver Nuggets. I wouldn't necessarily say, at least from how they played this season, necessarily call them yet one of the best in the West, but a very good Western Conference team in the Denver Nuggets and rebound and beat them. They're definitely the better team on paper coming into this game as the, with all the Sixers injuries, and they beat them. They beat Jokic even after he got 30-10-7 himself. They held Green to do absolutely nothing, zero points in 23 minutes. Barden had 19, Morris had 11, Gordon only had 9, Rivers only had 5. So they really were able to limit their scoring, play a good defensive game, and play a very good game without key pieces obviously still being in the lineup. And Andre Drummond, honestly, this wasn't even, he's been filling in pretty solid for Joe on beat. This was not a good game for him, honestly. And other people like Bassey, for example, really stepped up for the most part down low and were able to have a fantastic game. If it wasn't for Bassey stepping up, Sixers might not have won this game because this wasn't the best game for Andre Drummond in 28 minutes, only 4-6. and six. So the Sixers have a great pick-me-up mentality this year. The only game they got blown out in was that Utah Jazz game. And, of course, they're playing a great Western Conference team with Donovan freaking Mitchell, Michael Conley in the front court, And then you obviously have good ballers in the backcourt that I aforementioned as well like Rudy Gobert down low, and Whiteside. So this is a game and a, that was really good for the Sixers to be able to kind of get slapped around a bit, to be able to learn from that grow, and then bounce it back. And then they really take it to the next opponent, which, of course, was... Whoops, I just hit something by mistake. Which, of course, was the Denver Nuggets that they were able to beat because they held anybody other than Joker to not be able to beat them at all. A solid player in Jeff Green, obviously at 35 years old, but is averaging eight points this year, being a solid contributor for the Denver Nuggets, did nothing, and he played a bunch of minutes. So the Sixers really did play a good defensive game, were able to get the win, and able to stop the skid and get a key W against the Denver Nuggets. And also, I don't blame them for getting killed by the Utah Jazz. They're one of the best teams in the West, and you didn't have key pieces. So peace out, everybody. Stay safe, and have a fantastic weekend. This has been the Philadelphia 76ers weekly recap. I will be doing a preview for the weekend, of course, coming tomorrow. Peace out, everybody.